Otto Warburg studied the metabolism and respiration of cancer cells. He found that cancer cells prefer to ferment glucose. That means anaerobic respiration even in the presence of oxygen. Cancer seems to thrive when oxygen is low. That is why I flood the body with it. One of the simple ways to do it is by exercising and getting your heart beat up, pumping blood around and breathing lots of air. I translate this into at least one hour of physical exercise per day. Typically I plan 20 minutes per day of resistance training and 40 minutes of cardio. Resistance training might be training with weights or simple bodyweight exercises. Cardio is broad, cycling, jogging, brisk walking, working in the garden, chopping wood. The principle is getting my heart rate at least 50 to 60 percent above my resting heart rate. In my case, I aim for a minimum of 100 beats per minute. All activity gets logged through my sports watch, which indicates how much energy was burned. Combined with a food app that logs my calorie intake, I get my total energy balance over the day. I am exercising and don't call it training. The goal is not performance or personal records. I keep the weights light so I can do it every day, seven days per week. Remember, the goal is to stay alive, not to win a powerlifting competition. Besides oxygenating the body, muscle mass is crucial to survival. The Lancet published a study in 2015 that showed that grip strength was a stronger predictor of all cause and cardiovascular mortality than blood pressure. Due to my frequent fasting and diet, I am prone to muscle loss. By exercising daily, I aim to hang on to as much muscle mass as possible. Muscle matters.